Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the third worksheet in the series where we're looking at five difficult questions and this is going to be the final video on this particular worksheet which you can download from 3 Minute Maths or please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solutions. In the previous video we completed through to question number four. In this one we're going to look at question number five. Okay, here we are in question number five. It says n is an integer or a whole number. Prove that that multiplied by that is going to be equal to an even number. So therefore, if it's an even number, it must always be a multiple of two. I'm just going to actually write that in. So it must be a multiple of two. And then really it's just a case of expanding this particular expression. So the way I would do it is I would concentrate firstly on the second set of brackets. So it's actually this set of brackets here and also this expansion here. So I'm going to leave the 2n plus 1 as it is. With the second one I'm going to get n minus 3 multiplied by n plus 2 and then I've also got 3n multiplied by n plus 7 so let's have a look at how that expands. Well 2n plus 1 perfectly fine I'm going to leave it and then I've got n times n is going to give me n squared multiplied by uh, n plus 2 is n plus 2n is plus 2n minus 3n minus 6. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And then the expansion of the second expression there is going to be 3n squared plus 21n. Okay, so with these types of questions, they are very easy to kind of get wrong, I think. So please do take your time as you're working through all of this. And it's worthwhile writing down each of the steps as you work through, because you'll end up then, um, if you get it wrong towards the end, you'll at least get a couple of marks for your method. Okay, so 3n squared plus 21n. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply out these first two two bracketed terms. So by 2n, I'm going to get 2n times n squared is going to be 2n cubed. 2n times negative n is going to be negative 2n squared. And then that multiplied by that is going to be negative 12n. OK, so I've finished now with multiplying by 2n. I'm going to multiply now by positive 1. So that's going to give me positive n squared and then I'm going to get negative n and then I'm going to get negative 6 and again I've got uh, plus 3n squared plus 21n. Okay, it's one of those questions where it just takes forever to work through, but providing you're methodical with it, you should end up with 2n cubed plus 2n squared by working out and gathering up the like terms here you should end up with this expression and all I've done here is I've just said well I've got 2n squared here okay um, and I've got plus n squared and then plus 3n squared so all I'm doing is gathering up the like terms okay so it's kind of my final answer because what I'm saying then is that in order to prove that it's always even two has to be a factor you remember I wrote that right at the very beginning it must be a multiple of 2, so therefore 2 must be a factor of the expression that we've got at the end here. So I can write that as 2 brackets n cubed plus n squared plus 4n minus 3. And it just means then if you want to write a line in there that says as 2 is a factor, then it must be an even term. That'd be absolutely fine. I hope that's been useful to you. Please do let me know in the comments if you're not sure about anything. I do have other playlists that I can point you towards and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.